All right, so one of the first lenses someone usually gets after stepping up from a kit lens is the 50 millimeter prime. Uh, every manufacturer makes like an inexpensive fast prime lens in the 50 millimeter range, and it is a great lens to pick up for a lot of reasons. So we're gonna go over some of those today and uh, see if we can shoot some landscape with the 50 millimeter prime. All right, let's get going. All right, first off, you just can't beat the price. Uh, you can usually get one of these for somewhere in the $100 to $200 range, depending on which manufacturer you uh, you shoot with. Uh, Canon probably has the best. Uh, it's around 100 bucks. you can get a new Nifty 50, uh, the 1.8. I picked this Sony up when I got my a7 III and I switched from Canon, and uh, this one's about $200, and I grabbed this just because I was waiting for some other glass to come in the mail, and uh, this is the only thing they had at the store that was worth getting, so I, I got it, and uh, definitely something I use all the time. Another great reason to get a 50 millimeter fast prime lens is the shallow depth of field. Uh, so for inexpensive entry fee, you can get some great separation and shallow depth of field with the fast aperture. Uh, this is a 1.8, it's pretty decent. So on my full frame, it definitely allows me to blur out the background and isolate subjects. So it's great in that regard. And um, yeah, we're gonna use that today to try to get some detail shots, uh, some of this landscape that I'm in. So uh, let's get going. <laughs> So what's up guys, we have, uh, we have a bunch of cool mushrooms over here growing in the uh, moss and grass. And, uh, some beautiful afternoon light coming through. So I just wanted to uh, show how you can use shallow depth of field to really uh, separate some of these mushrooms, uh, especially with the light coming on them in the dark background and the shadows, you can really separate and uh, subject. So yeah, so I'm gonna take a few shots here of these different ones. Um, I'm at ISO 100. I'll be shooting at f1.8 on the photos, and then uh, shutter speed's pretty fast. It's around uh, 1 300, 1 400. So, yeah, let's check out some of these shots with a uh, shallow depth of field. Another useful aspect of the 50 millimeter range is it gives you like a useful perspective that you probably wouldn't normally just pull out in a landscape situation. You can use that to your advantage and experiment with compositions and uh, come up with some really unique shots that you probably would have overlooked if you uh, were just shooting say on like a wide 15 to 24 type lens. So it's great to offer a different perspective and to step outside your comfort zone and see what you can come up with. All right, so here we have a cool little intimate scene, little trail leading through the woods. I uh, love how the light's coming through, kind of shooting into the sun. Uh, I'm going to try to block out most of the sun in this shot. Uh, I do have the lens hood on, so that should help. But uh, yeah, this is a pretty interesting shot. Um, pretty cool, small, intimate scene, but uh, also a great perspective with the 50 millimeter. So yeah, let's take the shot and uh, see what we got. sorts of photography from portrait to product shots to just everyday snapshots all the way to landscape so it's a very versatile lens to use uh, I'd highly suggest grabbing one especially if you only have a kit lens and this is your first foray into fast primes you can't go wrong with the price and you will use this lens for your entire career I still have my 50 millimeter 1.4 from Canon that I've used for 10 years and I still use it to this day it's a great lens and I would never hesitate to buy it again 
Uh, even the 50 millimeter 1.8 with Canon is an awesome lens. So definitely something to grab if you haven't and you only shoot with a kit lens. Uh, you'll really love the shallow depth of field and how you can separate your subjects from the background. It's a, it's a wonderful lens, uh, great price. There's really no reason not to get one. So anyway, I just want to thank you guys for watching this video. If you uh, like this content, if you like uh, wild Florida and landscape photography, please subscribe and uh, appreciate you coming. Thanks guys, later.